So now we are discussing the next topology that is the ring topology. Talking about the ring topology, as the name signifies, there is a ring and through which all the computers are connected. So I'm making one diagram to make you understand. Let us suppose that there is a ring and with this ring, all the computers are connected. The computer, we can also say that these are the terminals. In the technical terms, computers are called the terminals. Let us suppose, say, four terminals are connected. Now, let us suppose the name given is C1 for the system 1, 2, 3, and 4. So these are the four computers or terminals which are connected to a ring in such a manner. So this is the ring topology. But we guys know that it is not a twisted pair cable that the wires are connected directly. So if I am connecting these wires, that is not possible. So this is not the possibility that it is electric wire. You are going to cut them and just join them. No, there is a small device which is used for connecting all the wires. Now the device which is used to connect inside the ring topology is the repeater. So there we are going to use a small device that is the repeater. So if n number of computers are there, we are going to use those repeaters also. The benefit of repeater is that they are going to give you the regenerated signal. So signal strength is there, but disadvantage is that the cost will increase. So now you can see that these computers are connected through repeater to the ring. So these are the repeaters which are helping the ring topology and computers are connected via them. Now talking about the ring topology, computers are connected in the closed loop. So this ring topology, another name is also called the closed loop. Well, loop, whenever something is going and coming back to the same, that is called the loop. So that's why it is called the loop network also. So if somebody asks you in the examination, what is the closed loop or loop network, then that is the ring topology they are talking about. So we can also say that this one is the loop network. Now talking about the star topology. So if I give you the first and the foremost thing about the ring topology, then computers are connected in closed loop means the computers are connected in the closed loop or we can say that in the ring. So there is a ring through which all the computers are connected by single communication cable. Means there is a single cable through which all the computers are connected inside the ring. And then second thing is that ring topology can be unidirectional or the bidirectional. So it can be unidirectional or bidirectional. But let me tell you one thing, the by default, the topology is the unidirectional. Unidirectional means only one way we can send out the data. Let us suppose if I talk about this diagram. Now, if I start with C1, this is the unidirectional. Let us suppose that it is the clockwise direction. So they will send the data into the clockwise. So assuming that C2 want to send the data to C3, then this wire is going to use clockwise. Or if C2 want to send it to the C4, then the same wire will be used for the C4. Another side is not possible because we are assuming it is the unidirectional. So unidirectional means only in the one direction. It can send the data into the one way. Now the next thing, use token to control transmission. Now let us suppose that the topology is the bidirectional, means both ways the data is coming. What will happen? In that case, there will be the collision. So to avoid that, there is a token management is there, means the tokens are generated. And if anybody is having a token, only that that person can send the data. So that token management is done. And with the help of that, ring topology or the loop network works. That's why this topology is also given one name, the standard name. We know that that is the token ring. 
So token ring is a standard term just like the Ethernet in the networking. So if somebody give you the example that which is the example of loop network or ring topology, you will simply say token ring is the example of loop network or the ring topology. And in the technical terms, there is one name also. Just like if I say token ring, this is the example of ring topology. In the technical terms, we say it is IEEE. 802.5. These are some standard codes given by the IEEE. Just like 802.5 is the code for the token ring. Similarly, other codes are also there for different different purposes. So the token ring is the example of the ring topology. Now we are going to discuss the advantages and the disadvantages of ring topology. So now we are taking the advantage. So if I talk about the advantage of ring topology, then we know that we are comparing the, all the topologies with the mesh topology. So obviously the less cables are there as compared to the mesh topology. And if less cables are there, you know that it is less expansive. One more thing which is very good is add and remove. If you want to add or remove device, device means the computer if you want to add or remove the computer that require hanging of two connections we can check out the diagram to understand this thing let us suppose that you don't want the computer number c2 or the c1 let us suppose now there are two connections one is this connection and one is that one so these are two connections you guys can simply take out these two connection and you can put this connection number one here at this position so computer one number c1 is directly removed from this network similarly if you want to install one more computer the same process you will add one more repeater and computer and insert the wire means two connections need to be changed that's why they are saying two connections need to be changed and afterward it will be taken you can see that one and two are there if you want to remove c1 so this cable number one will be now attached here so this c1 computer will not be the part of system now okay so this way you can remove or add any number of systems so that is the advantage easy uh, adding and removing of the system but there are a few disadvantages also so disadvantages well, we can see that, let us suppose that this wire is broken in between. Now, if this wire will broke and you are having the unidirectional system. So obviously data should pass in this direction, in the unidirection. It will not come here in this direction. No, because it is not the bidirectional. So if it come here and the connection is broken, so data will not pass. So what will happen? We can say that if one connection fail, rest of connections fail. So if you are going to fail one connection, all the connection will not work. So that is a disadvantage. We can say that uh, for this particular purpose, we are having the solution. Yes, you know it bidirectional. Now, one more thing. It is not only the connection break. Let us suppose that this whole system is not working. If this system break, also it is not working. Again, the data will not pass here because it is coming via this particular path. So data will not come here because if the system is failing, how the data will pass? So that is not possibility. So we can say that even if the node fail, so if the node node means the computer if the computer fail so node failure cause network failure so if the system is not working then the network will not work because the unidirectional is there and obviously if there is so many problems like this then the fault diagnosis is difficult that's why difficult to diagnose fault so fault diagnosis is very much tough in that case because you don't know where the connection is broken and you are trying to send the data. Now there is one solution. The solution is the bi-directional ring. 
so the solution of all the problem is bidirectional so bidirectional ring topology is a solution in which we can also send the data in the reverse way in the anti clockwise also so we are sending here also this way so this is the bidirectional but yes if you are coming in this way it also having some problem like if the c2 want to send the data to c4 it can come here this way and this way also which can give the duplicate packet that's why the token management technique is applied here so the solution is still there that is the bidirectional ring and the token management technique is used so this is all about the ring topology or the loop network